Another thing that we're going to look at is how to classify matter. So if we have all matter, we can start asking a number of questions. The first question we'll ask is, can it be separated by a physical process? If it can, then we call this a mixture. If it cannot, then we call this a pure substance. So one physical process that we might use for separation would be sieving sand and rocks to separate them. If it's a pure substance, then we're not going to be able to separate it by physical processes. But we might be able to break it down by chemical means. If we can break it down by chemical means, then we're going to call this a compound. So carbon dioxide would be a compound. By chemical means, we could break it into carbon and oxygen. But oxygen is an element. We can't break it down any further. We also can further classify mixtures as homogeneous mixtures and heterogeneous mixtures. A homogeneous mixture is something that is uniform throughout. So if you look at this tea, this is a mixture of water and tea. We may have added sugar, we may have added lemon juice. But if you look at this tea, it's uniform throughout. We can also call this a solution. In contrast, here's another cup of tea that is a heterogeneous mixture. It is not uniform throughout. At the top we have these lemon pieces, at the bottom we have none. If we sample in different parts of the mixture, we're going to get a different composition. Another example is a cocktail like the one below with the ice cubes. We're going to do some practice classifying matter. We're going to classify each of these as an element, a compound, or a mixture. So take, for example, carbon dioxide. Which does this belong to? Carbon dioxide is a compound. It can be broken down by chemical means into carbon and oxygen. It cannot be separated by physical means. Nickel, on the other hand, is an element. You'll see it as one of the metals on the periodic table. It cannot be broken down any further by chemical or physical means. Cocaine is a compound. It's a chemical compound. However, what you would find on the street may more likely be a mixture. Water is a chemical compound. It's made up of hydrogen and oxygen. Fluorine is an element. Table salt is usually NaCl, which is a compound. Sea salt, however, would be a mixture. Soap is a mixture. Seawater is also a mixture. 